Opponents of a bill that would ban transgender treatment for anyone under the age of 18 joined together today at the state capitol. So this is Richard Lake joins us now live with more on what transgender rights activists had to say about the REAP Act. Richard? Well, that's right. Today we heard from activists, parents, and even trans youth that would be directly impacted by this legislation. And all of them were generally just outraged that this bill passed the House because the REAP Act, you know, it would not only ban gender reassignment surgery, but it would also ban the use of non-surgical treatments such as hormone therapies and purity blocking drugs for anyone under the age of 18. One organizer I spoke with says that there are more pressing issues surrounding the health care in Mississippi that the legislature needs to tackle. We have hospitals in Mississippi that are that are that are closing because they are not being able to they're not they're not funded and, and our, our legislature our governor won't support Medicaid expansion and, and yet they it, while that's the problem that we've got in our in our state and any number of problems around education around uh, health care access you know the, the the thing that they they go after are trans kids who are already the most vulnerable and most marginalized kids uh, among uh, the population. Now, this bill passed the House on January 19th, and it's been sitting in the Senate since January 20th. And we'll have more on what advocates, excuse me, activists had to say about this bill at 6 o'clock. For now, it's Richard Lake reporting live from the Capitol for 12 News.